Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your who's coming towards you next in love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. We're going to pick a few of these just to get some overall energy, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into your tarot. There are things that you don't know. And this can't be over. There are things you don't know, and this can't be over. At the bottom of the deck, we have happy ending. So it does look like the next person that is going to be coming towards you, Scorpio, is a past person. So either there's potential for a new ending or happy ending here, or they're wanting, I see right under this happy end, or, or, oh my goodness, right under this happy ending, there's this closed heart and trust card. So for some of you guys, Scorpio, you may have had to close your heart to a person because you they have broken your trust. Um, and as a Scorpio myself, I definitely understand how hard that can be to get back, um, if they can get it back. So you may have really closed off to somebody here. But they're still hopeful that you guys can have a happy ending. There are things that you don't know. And this can't be over. So someone's having a hard time accepting that you have closed off to them here. Some of you guys may have went cold or ghosted a person. You could have just blocked a person and moved on. We have the strength card in the reverse that fell out. So somebody's having a really hard time. We got the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Star. And the potential outcome here, we have the Page of Swords. So we have the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There could have been some kind of conflict drama, some kind of argument here. For some of you guys, I feel like it was kind of a last straw situation here. Some of you guys, the Five of Wands can talk about competition and things as well. But I feel like there was just, there was one big fight here. I'm not saying this is the only one, but I definitely feel like there was some kind of like final straw here, Scorpio, for some of you. And right under here, we have the Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman. I feel like some of you guys are definitely... Uh, taking some time to figure things out, to process, to reflect. I feel like you're trying to figure out what you want about the long term. You have the King of Pentacles here. What do I want my life to look like for the long term? I feel like you're wanting something that is solid, stable, somebody who's serious and committed. You have the Three of Swords here, so I definitely feel like this is hurtful. Um, but I think with the Nine of Pentacles here, you're choosing to focus on yourself at this time. It's like I would, I would, I would be better off dealing with myself than dealing with this. That's kind of the energy I feel. So we have the strength card in the reverse for the area of their thoughts. Somebody's like, I don't know if I can keep doing this. I don't know how to do this. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, this can't be over. Someone's really having a hard time with the strength card in the reverse. Uh, the queen of wands for their feelings. So somebody's feeling very, very passionate about this reconnection, okay? About reconnecting with you. Like Scorpio is all I want. I feel such a strong bond or some, such a strong attraction or chemistry towards Scorpio. And the Queen of Wands is also, she is a card of knowing what you want and being willing to, you know, pursue it, not not allowing anything to hold them back. And the Strength card in the reverse as well, it can be a card of no longer holding back too. So I definitely feel like somebody could be um, like <laughs> trying to blow up your phone or really, really just pursuing you in a very active way, okay? Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles for their intention. So that to me, that looks like I'm going to give a lot more effort. I'm going to put a lot more into this. I'm going to try. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you that. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. I see the Six of Pentacles here. I also saw the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I also see Leo, Virgo, Libra, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini. Those are signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. It is a general reading. So even if I did not mention a specific sign, the reading can still resonate, okay? Um, somebody's next action towards you is the star. So somebody's really, really hopeful. Somebody is really going to be trying to heal something 
with you, okay? But I also feel like this is just representing their wish. Like they are sitting here wishing and hoping, okay? I do feel like somebody could be like blowing up your phone, that kind of thing too. So you may want to prepare for that. Some of you guys maybe won't even know because you'll have them blocked, okay? But we have the page of swords here for the potential outcome. I definitely feel like this is them. They could be trying to, well, let me, let me rephrase. I feel like this is them watching you, that kind of thing here. Some of you guys, they could be really trying to figure out where you're, where you're at, what's going on with you, what you're doing. So this could be like asking friends about you, check, trying to check on your social medias. Um, but as far as you, you could just be kind of watching this all play out. You could be in your head trying to figure out what you want to do next, Scorpio. Some of you guys have already made up your mind in this page of swords. Is, I just feel like you're very skeptical about this person. You kind of seem like you feel like you've got this person figured out. Okay. So... I'm sorry that the next person that's coming towards you is a past person, but that's kind of what this looks like. It doesn't look to me that you're very open to this Scorpio um, because I feel like this is very, it feels very cyclical to me. I feel like this is somebody that you've been in a, a cycle with and it kind of feels like a last straw to me, but only you guys get to decide what's best for you. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.